Welcome to One Journey. Let's make it count. We are going to focus on life because together we thrive. Now, um, life has consequences and your choices and your actions have consequences. We're going to talk about that. We're going to look at true crime by linking it with the Bible just to see what that sin is. Then we're going to link it with the mental health community that talks about human behavior and why we make the choices we do. And then we're going to link it with the law of the land. Will you lose your freedom or will you go to jail for 30 years to life? Depends on what the crime is. Now, we want to thank you for joining us today, and please don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell, and also leave a comment. In the description box, we have some information for you as well, and share on social media. But we're going to go back to the 1800s, 800, yes, that far back. And that, that, that far back... Um, I have to set the foundation because that far back is when um, the white supremacists got together with the monarchs, um, the great leaders, and um, the religious leaders of the time, and they decided to make the white race the superior race, the supreme race. And that's where all this comes in, exterminate the brutes. This documentary is on um, HBO, and you can find it all over the internet where they, where, where they stream um, um, movies. Now, in the 1800s to about 1270, they talked about blood, the composition of blood. Are you mixed? Are you mixed or are you pure white? And they decided that pure white was the superior race that any other race outside of pure right was not pure. And to exterminate them would be the order of the day or the order of life to come. So exterminate the brutes brings us into that reality of history. This is a historical documentary. Now, as we said before, when you hear this, you have to hear it like how cults, Foreign people, how cults put together information that is not, that doesn't have any foundation. It doesn't have any root. It doesn't have any origin. It doesn't tie together. And everything in the earth ties together. The plants tie together. The, the, the sky, the water, everything kind of ties together. But when you meet a, um, a, a cult, you'll find out mm, it's not really tying together. It's not tying together at all. Now, one other thing you have to understand is that they decided at this conference in 800 that the whites were the main people. Now, at some point, the white nation decided to launch out in ships. They had cannons. They had guns and gunpowder. They had swords and they had knives. So when they came up on a native island, what they're the, what their plan was is to exterminate everyone and take over the territory. Okay? That's why their, their ships left Europe to conquer new worlds. And the word here is to conquer because they're the supreme race, they should rule. And to this day in 2021, they still have that idea. And it started in 800, okay? In the 800s. Now, during the colony, you have to realize this now, the killing was approved. This was not murder for their law. And later on it was it's considered murder, but this, and later on it's considered genocide, but when they started, it was not considered murder because the other skin tones or the non-whites, they were considered um, brutes, or they were considered animals, monkeys, they were not seen to be intelligent. They, in, in their minds, the white minds, they couldn't read and write or understand. They didn't have homes like them. They didn't have clothing like them. They didn't have 
food like them. So it was very, very different. Their homes were different. Of course, their climates were different. However, their job is to go in and take over. So during the world, you will see lots of us all dressed in Western clothing. Why is that? Why are we all wearing the same uniform, the same style? Why? Why does the Europeans decide what fashion is and what it's not and for us to comply or to have acceptance we must put on these uniforms of theirs. Now, also, when they decided to launch out their ships, Exterminate the Brutes explains all of this, in the newspaper it was said, hey, free Indian land. I three, we'll give you three, three free slaves and you can have free land. So what, you go in with three free slaves when you get there and you're going to get land. And they said, hey, don't forget to buy some guns because you got to kill those Indians. They're not people. They're not like us. You can kill them. Yeah. The Africans, you can kill them. They're not uh, all the colored ones. The Indians, just, you can just exterminate them. Okay. So that was their plan of the day and it was legal. It was legal and it is not legal now but it was then. Many nations later on came by and asked for restitutions. The Indians, the Japanese, the Chinese, the Jews and the African American slaves that came over. Some of them have not received restitutions. But some of the other African country have received, um, you know, um, compensation for their, um, the egregious act that was done to them, the slavery that was done to them. Now, but the Europeans, from their perspective, remember, they're told from 1800 that what? They are superior. Everything else is not superior. Everything else you can kill. You can kill and then keep what you kill. So, here we are. Now, so some of the advertisement, hey, free land, get killed in the, come to the free, come to the new world, come and get your free land, no problem. So they did. Hey, I'll give you five slaves and you can get some free land, free Indian territory, free territory in, in Africa, whatever. At some point they did divide Africa up and we're going to get to that buy guns and kill the Indians, no problem, hunt for your food. In the memory of so many souls that were lost in this campaign, we deeply apologize for the devastating loss and we do feel your pain. Now, once again, exterminate, your, exterminate all the brutes um, on the HBO network. Now, this particular, um, this particular cast is um, Stephen, he did Exterminate the Brute, Roxanne, she did all the stories on the Indians, Michael, he did all the silence in the past. What do you mean? Don't say that the white nation did anything bad. It wasn't bad. It was legal. It was law. It was okay at the time. And the time bring changes. And of course, this documentary is narrated by Rural Peck. And he's a Asian, and of course the music is by Alice. Now, this has four parts. And the first part, I'm going to read my notes, it says the disturbing confidence of ignorance. The second part is who the F is Columbus. Who is Columbus? The second part is killing at a distance. Killing at a distance. How we've learned, even today, how to even not go to war. We'll just send the missiles. We'll kill at a distance. How, thorough, uh, how thoroughly and, and to enjoy killing at a distance. Oh, I made the hit. It's not a video game. It's real people. And the fourth part talks about the bright color of fascism. One dictator. Russia, a little bit like a facet fascism. One man rules. Once again, this is, I introduced you to rural Peck the director and author of this documentary. Um, okay, so the disturbing confidence of ignorance. It starts out with the Indians. And in part one, the Seminole Nation is singled out simply because they did not retreat. Every contract they did with the colonists, the colonists broke. Why? It's our land. We want it. 
We want it. Our country want it. And our country says, we can take our land. We can kill you if you get in our way. So they did. Because that's what they're taught. They were taught, we were taught that we are superior and you should be our slave and serve us. So that's what they acted on. That information. Okay? Colorism were known for um, bargaining treaties. You know, um, breaking agreements constantly. But that's the, the, the Indian says the white man talks with a forked tongue. Focus on this. Civilization, colonism, and extermination. I want you to really focus on that because that's how it goes. We're civilized. We're going to colonize your area, what you own, take it, okay, and then exterminate you. That's the plan. Now, in December 1836, the Seminole Nation and the Maroons, right, those are, you know, slaves, of course, and encampments, they got together and they worked together to fight. In 1836, the Invisible Tribe said, we're going to fight these Europeans. They made their minds up. They come to take our land. They come to take our life. They steal life and we don't want them, we don't want to give them the approval. We're not going to run and we're not going to hide. And that's what they did. They fought. And they made agreements that it broke back and forth, back and forth. The Western world became transformed once Europe decided to launch all their ships out to find new territory. New territory means greater economic wealth. Okay, that's why they launched out economic wealth, prosperity, took over Australia, took over many, many parts of the world, North America, South America, you name it. Their ships bought them, their guns, their army, their slaves. They came in and the territories were unaware of the massacre that was supposed to take place. Greed, distrib the distrib distribution of wealth and power was the order of the day. Now, the U Europeans used the cultures they interact with or they intersected with or they saw for entertainment. They, um, they made fun of them. Everything was a joke. Everything was a joke. How they looked, how they dressed, their high cheekbone, their large eyes, their sunken eyes, their slit eyes, all of it was entertainment. And boy, did Hollywood have fun with that. Why? Because they had something to poke fun at. They didn't have to poke fun at them because they were, they have determined that they have the higher food chain. So that's how that came in. So in 1991, this is 1991 guys, okay? In 1991, they decided that, you know what, in Sweden they said, you know what? We need to get rid of all the Jews, all the Negroes, and the non-whites. So sometimes during this particular time, um, we are in, in 2021, we have COVID-19, and a lot of people are not trusting the Europeans because did they send this? Did they do this so that they can exterminate the minorities? Is this their way? We didn't know. We don't know. Um, they're the ones championing, no mask, no mask, you know, no this, no that. However, people are dying. Now, at this particular time where I, everything was going on, the Jews were sleeping. Sleeping. Why are you sleeping? You had to deal with the Romans. Why are you sleeping? You had to deal with the Egyptians. Why are you sleeping? They were sleeping. 2016 in Sweden, boy, that hate started to rise. That anti-Semitism started to rise against non-white and Jews. Okay? Now, in 1991, all the Jews and Negroes should be exterminated. They already determined that. Okay? Now, in 2016, it was, it was growing, right? It was growing and getting fatter and fatter. By 2021, they're like, yeah, let's get rid of them. The human heart became evil. Remember when they were in the Garden of Eve and there was sexy Adam and there was voluptuous Eve and there were trees in the garden, but the one in the center, they could not eat of it, touch of it. But honey, they were ready to eat of it. Now, 
Um, Mr. Raul Peck takes us back to 1962 when he was in Brooklyn and his family was looking, living in Brooklyn, New York. He talks about going to PS 164 between Nolstrand and Rogers in Brooklyn, New York and, and the good times they had. And in the documentary, he does show some of those good times. They're cleaning their cars off and, you know, they're just getting ready for the day. He said at some point they had to move because they are Haitian and they were diplomats right um and they worked with diplomats and they went to the congo and mobutu was one of the richest he served for 30 years in the congo he the congo was rich okay now the congo had um copper silver gold diamonds come on it had cobalt it had uranium it was rich he was rich okay he it is still rich it hasn't stopped yielding all the wealth. Africa hasn't stopped yielding the wealth and the Europeans are still raping it. But they're trying to rape it legal now. Not using derogative names, but thinking it. Stealing, tricking, getting things they, they want out of desperation, setting up fake, um, uh, fake orphanage so that they can have money, Western money coming in, so they can beg money on TV. Fake. They needed to buy a gold toilet seat. Just really fake. It was a Polish writer by John Conrad, and he decided to let's let's vanish, let's vanish some of these the truth. But so he wrote everything negative about all the dark skinned nations and what they did and what they didn't do. But he didn't write anything negative about the European. What does exterminate mean? It means to bring people to a point that you drive them overboard to death. The idea is to destroy them. And that's where we came back to 800, right? Now we're back to this again. Why? That's why Stephen Lindquist wrote the book on exterminate all the brutes. We wanted to examine that against the Indians. Okay, the Indians in a body, when they showed up on the Indian shore, they fed them, they clothed them, they gave them food, everything that they needed. Show them how to farm. They didn't want to farm. When they showed up in Africa, they didn't want to do anything either. They would stay in the sun and it would be unbearable to their skin. So surely these dark ones are meant to serve them because they are superior. So, the unexpected um, continues. The elimination of the natives, the elimination of people that don't have the right blood. Now, when they showed up on the shores, remember they had a ship, they had an army, they had slaves, they had guns, they had knives, they had swords, okay? They had plowshares too, okay? And things to, to move the land. But, you know, they weren't interested in any of that. They are the superior one. And these chocolate ones either die, do as we say, or they die. That's just how it is. Now, um, they were unwilling to hunt, unwilling to grow their crops, just unwilling. There was a military leader named John Smith. And Raul talks about John Smith and his behavior as he colonized the New World. He said he threatened the Indians. He killed all the women, all the children. That's what he did. He, if they did not um, provide for them, they were slaughtered. Force a forcing, and the Indians said, "Why are you going to force? Why take with force what, what you can have with love?" But he wasn't hearing that. You know, he heard that. Now John Smith, a Virginian camp, um, he he worked for a Virginian company in London. Right? So they supplied him with what he needed. You had your mercenaries, you had your guns, you had your swords, you had, you had war. Go kill them all so we can do our advertisement and say, get the, come get your free land. We'll give you two slaves to start out. Because they can't stay in that sun and work that ground. The Indians can do it. The blacks can do it. The darker skinned ones can do it. The Jews can do it. But their skin couldn't take it. It's like we don't like when the, 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 the ones that come from really hot nations and it's hot all the time. They don't really like air conditioner that much and they don't really like snow or cold weather that much. Well, you know, there's always the Pope 
the, the religious organizations, okay, that decided let's take over the Muslims and let's take over the Liberian Peninsula because it was very wealthy. And guess what? They did. Kill the Moorish, those Muslims, and they also killed the Jews. And they kept going. Why? Now you have to remember why. Because they are the superior race and they've been telling, this is 1478, they've been told that since they were 800, 800s. So that's what it is. Yeah, that's just how it goes. Now, um, in 1492, mass deportation of the Jews. Where are you, where are you going? Are you going to Israel? Mm -mm. But mass deportation of the Jews. Because what? The slaughter was about to begin. Because remember, they were told, you know, exterminate them all. All racial um, research in Berlin in 1930, genetics in Berlin in 1930, um, um, uh, Berlin in Germany in 1945, Turkey 1990, um, Vietnam 1968, the Rwanda 1994, the extermination was on. Put you in mass graves, kill you out, you're gonna, the, the other ones will die out and we will have the whole earth to ourselves. And take your wealth. Genocide, fascism, exportation, slavery, conquest, Contempt for aliens. This is white suppress killing six million Jews. They killed twenty million Africans in the Congo. Twenty million. Whew. In Madison Square Garden, there was this big event held to raise money for Hitler and to talk about the white agenda, and they called it the Gentile agenda. So guess who's left out? The, everyone dark skin and of course the Jews they left out and it was packed Volkswagen was there major companies was there major companies supported it major companies look at the companies that got caught up in this evil that's not, 1939 1938 look at those companies that's a lot of companies that said yeah we'll support you Yes, you've got our money. And they sent it. They did it. <sighs> Exterminate all the brutes. Now, Ra Raul Brut, Raul Peck has made lots of documentaries. Not About Love in 1997. The Young, the Young by Raul Peck, 19, 2017. The School of Power, 2009, and of course, I'm Not Your Negro in 2009. So check out some of his work. Late 15th century, everything is colonized, everything is legal to kill, everything's legal, legal, legal. Knock yourself out, okay? The Portuguese are coming, everybody is coming, the ships are coming, the guns are coming, everything is coming. They're going to take the land. The advertisements are up. Take the land. Indian territory, come and settle. Colo col 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 colonialism, come sell, kill, steal, destroy, have it all, exterminate those brutes, they're not really human. And they came, and they did just that. That was the agenda. So when you meet someone, and they are on the orders to kill you, and it's okay to kill you, they don't have to feel anything. Because they were told, hey, you, it's okay. They're, they're, they're not, they're like monkey people. They're like rats, you know, they're like roaches. They're like bad insects that need to get, get be gotten rid of. They're on our land, so let's kill them. Did the Indians fight back? Absolutely. The Africans fight back? Absolutely. Now, African became property, and 2021 st are still looked at as machinery. Well, when the United States decided to change the rules, you're like, wait a minute now, you take, you, the Southerners were like, before Civil War broke out, that person that you think is human is actually a tractor. They're not human. They're like my dog. They're like my cat. I am white. And I am, because that number, 800s, they're still being taught this. So when slavery changed in the United States, it was hard for them because you took my tractor. You know, you took my mule. It, it walks upright like me, talks 
but it's not like me. It's not intelligent enough to read, go to school, be a college, be, be a doctor, be a lawyer, be an Indian, be a chief. And we've, we've shown that all those things were lies. So we're trying to move forward. 1885, European, European leaders met the Berlin Conference. Guess what they did? They divided up Africa. You can have this piece. You can have that piece. You can have that piece. And something happened in 1887, and we thank him very much. But this um, Scottish surgeon, J.B. Dunlap, and they still have Dunlap tires, you know. 1883, he decided to, you know, he figured out how to fix the rubber and, and make bicycles and all kinds of fun things. Well, the German Dutch says, oh, we can handle this. But they went there and slaughtered over 20 million Africans in the Congo and they would cut their hands off and in 2021 the Germans and the Dutch were still celebrating making chocolates out of hand celebrating Leonor, Le, 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 Leopold the second King Leopold's method of torturing them if they didn't work and bring him rubber 2021 they're still making chocolate hands because they're superior. They're superior. So Leopold behaved very badly in the Congo. And the Congo is like 80 times bigger than um, Belgium. It is about two times the size of Texas with two times the size of California combined. That's pretty big. So Rubber was made from, for bicycles, rubber stamps, boat, gloves, you know, all kinds of things. Even today we use lots of rubber. But the money also made Berlin build beautiful buildings and structures and it became tourist economy again. The demand for rubber was outrageous and the killing continues. It continues. I just wanted to bring um, you an understanding that even George Washington, he came to the new land to get his free land and to, and to survey the land and say, hey, I know where you can get some land. I know what's available. And he was part of it too. That's how he made his money. He had African slaves also. He shed Indian blood also because it was, it was legal. It was legal. 1478, legal. Okay? Now, remember I told you when the Nazi party came, everybody, the companies were, companies were in it, were in it. They were in it. Civilization, colonization, extermination. Exterminate the brutes. Check it out on HBO. I hope you learned something today about how far we, how far we have come and understanding why the white supremacy still exists today because it started in 800 and they still believe we are superior and everyone else is to be exterminated or to be made slaves um, or to be subject to them. They want us all to dress like them, look like them, just like Hitler's army. <laughs> March at them. That is their agenda. If not, they'll just exterminate us because it's okay. Thank you for joining us today. We want to let you know that we appreciate you so much. Um, please check out the series. I'm going to come with part th two, three, and four, but this is just the introduction of Exterminate All the Brutes. Check it out on HBO Max. Thank you for joining us. Please like, subscribe, click the notification bell, and um, leave a message. What do you think about all this? Wow, we've come a long way, baby, right? We've come a long way. Um, remember, um, one journey, let's make it count. Of course, I'm wearing my coolie bar. and uh, It's in the description below. My wigs are in the description below as well. And um, my makeup is in the description box as well. Until the next time we meet. Uh, thank you for coming by and thank you for, your, for being loyal. You guys are outstanding. One journey, let's make it count. And remember, your actions may have consequences. Enjoy your day. Thank you.